Welcome. This is Paula Chafee Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com with your Monday Tarot message from the Muse for the week of October, yes, October 1st. Okay, your theme for the week is the Two of Wands. The number two is about choice decision, partnership, and wands is the element of fire in the realm of spirit, creativity, career, and work. And this speaks very much to us as creatives because often we think, should I do this project or should I do this project? Should I be this person or should I be that person? Should I go, is my purpose this or is it that? And what this card often suggests to me is not necessarily that you have to make a decision but you're, instead of an either or, it becomes a both and. So this week, look for places where you might create a new creative idea, the key to working with two projects or two you know, roles or purposes or whatever, might be how do I combine them? How do I bring two of my strengths into something new? And your focus for the week is the Ace of Coins. Coins is the element of earth in the realm of home, health, and wealth. And so you can see the ace is the beginning. If you can think of it, especially with earth, as a seed. You can see the ace, small acorn here, um, the bumblebee, the small hedgehog, um, the idea out of an acorn, the giant oak grows. So here's all this potential and all this possibility. And so the idea this week is what is the first thing you need to do in a physical manifesting way to move your creative work into development, into moving out into the world, into creating income for yourself? What is the first seed you need to plant this week for your creative work? And then we have this lovely action card. Um, the star. This is the major arcana card, the star. Her number is 17. You can see the, what are the ruins of the tower, which is the card that comes before her. And the star here is spreading healing and light and illumination and inspiration. So your action this week is to do your magic. Because in doing your creative magic, you bring healing and hope and inspiration to others. We forget, we often forget how much, how important it is to do our work for others. That in doing our magic, we help heal and restore. Um, especially after the last couple of weeks that we've had as women, particularly. And then finally, the gift. When we plant the seed and we do our creative magic, then we get the gift of being the Knight of Cups. And I think he showed up in a recent reading. Um, and so the Knight is the one who has all the equipment, the helmet, the armor, the horse, the lance, whatever, that he needs to do his job. And in Cups, we're in the element of water, in the realm of heart, emotions, dreams, intuition, and creativity. Um, the gift is that by doing those other things, we then have the tools and the courage and the purpose we need to get out and serve and do our work in the community in spite of some of the fears or doubts that might be lurking beneath. So as we look at the story for the week, we have three of the four elements and a major arcana card. We start the week off with the idea, the theme of the two of wands. And so it's that idea of how do I bring two creative ideas or roles or purposes um, together to create something new for myself that speaks uniquely to who I am and what my gifts are. Then we look, focus on um, what is the seed I need to plant this week in a practical way to grow my creative work. Then take action. Do your creative magic. Be inspired and inspire others. So in doing your creativity, healing is offered. And then finally, when you do all that, you become the Knight of Cups. You become the creative champion, the emotional champion for your work. And you may find in the process that someone else shows up to do that with you. And this is Paula Scardamalia of DivinningTheMuse.com, wishing you divine musings.